Hey kids, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 2, Modifying Elements, Exercise Number 7. We're going to go ahead and do quiz grades. I love grading. What's more fun than coding some grades? Let's go ahead and jump in and see what we have to do. The student class declares an instance variable for a 1D array of int values to store the score of a student received on a daily quiz. In Student Java, we're going to write the update grade method to add five points to a value located at the parameter position in the 1D array quiz grades. And then in Student Runner, we're going to call the update grade method and then print the updated student object. In my Student Runner, you can see we are declaring it and initializing a 1D array weak scores. We learned how to do this a last lesson. These little curly braces mean we're creating a 1D array and it positions 0 to 86, 177, 298, 381, 497. Then we're creating a object Tessa. We're passing along the two parameters. One of them looks like our 1D array. Then we're printing off that object. Let's go to student. In student, we have two private instance variables. One's the name. One is that 1D array quiz grades. Our constructor takes two parameters, the name and quiz grades. That is that 1D array we're getting passed along. We have a get method get quiz grades method, a place to write our updated grade method, and then a two string method, which looks like it's going through each index, printing off name and the scores one line at a time. Well, we have to write our update grade method. And what we're gonna do is we're going to update one of these scores by adding five points. How do we do that? Well, in order to access a position, we have to call the array name we are trying to access, square brackets, in the index we want. For this one, I want to update 77. That is at index 1. If we go back to student, we have to remember our array name is quiz grades. That means we want to access the quiz grades array. We need square brackets. What position do we want to update? Well, we're going to tell it what position. So we just want to pass along this position right now. Then we want to add five points. How do we do that? Well, we could do our quiz grades at position equals quiz grades at position plus five. Remember our shorthand from a couple lessons ago, we're going to do a plus equal five. And that'll add five to whatever position we call. Now we have to actually call this method. Let's go back to a student runner. Let's go down here. First, let's hit run and see how this prints off. And you can see it says name Tessa, score 86, 77, 98, 81, 97. I was wrong, it doesn't go to each line. Let's give ourselves a little room here to tell the different code. I'll do some quotes, bunch of dashes. Our object we instantiated above is Tessa. So from the Tessa object, we're going to call the update grade method. It's going to need some parentheses and a semicolon. What position did we want to update? We wanted to update number one, zero, one. So we're going to say position one. Then we're going to print off our object again, system.out.println, and then we're going to print off Tessa. Now, when I hit run, I should get 86, 82, 98, 81, 97. Well, let's see if we're right. And we did, we updated that position. And now we can go through if we wanted to update 0, 1, 2, 3, the third position, 81. We type in 3 and hit run. Now we should get 86. And we do. It's going through, and whatever position or index we're calling, it's just adding 5 to that score. Looks like our code's working pretty good.
key takeaway to this lesson is how to access specific values in a 1D array. For that, we need the array name, square brackets, within those square brackets, the index we want to call or modify. In my example right here, I'm instantiating a 1D array scores with values inside of it. Inside my initializer list, I have 75, 90, 83. Remember, we start counting at index zero, so zero is 75. Next, I'm taking that array name, and I'm changing the value at index zero to 85. At index one to 95, index two, 90. Now I'm saying, hey, print off whatever is at position one. Position one is now 95, so I'll get 95 to print off. Remember, one of your questions on the AP CSA FRQ is going to be a 1D array. The majority of questions are accessing individual elements and then doing something to them. This is really a foundational skill for the class. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to modify those elements a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.